Welcome to your video by DJ's PRC. This will be a video on my Creality Ender 2 Pro, one of the latest model. This model has the board V4 uh, 2.3 if I'm correctly. I could be wrong on that one, but it is the latest board. It is a 32-bit board. Uh, I do have a video showing how to do the CR touch on it. And I do have a video to how I did the, the lights on top of here to illuminate the bed. Because if I do close the lights in this room, yeah, we'll take a second or two here. If I close the lights, you will notice that the printer is pretty much well lit up. Um, that's what I like. I do have basically on both of my three printers here, I do have a Raspberry Pi with uh, Octoprint and I do use a webcam. There is my webcam here that I just installed right here and I'm able to see at a distance what's happening with my, uh, my print. But this video is for basically how to level your bed when you don't have a CR touch. Now, what you're going to do, first thing you're going to do is go in your menu. Unfortunately, I can't really show you. I have to move. I would need to move the uh, the camera a couple of times, and I I just trying to prevent. Sometimes my camera has an issue focusing. But first thing you're going to do, go your main menu. Underneath temperature, you're going to go to bed. Select your bed. Bring it up to 50. Let it warm up to 50 and go back to your main menu. The reason you want to level your bed when it's hot, the aluminum plate might have a bow in it or flexed and with the heat it will it should technically put itself pretty much straight. The other thing you're going to do once you heat it up to 50, you're going to go to motion. You're going to do auto home. Now I'm not going to do it on mine because of the CR touch and I'll show you why in a second or two here. It's going to move and there, your head should go where it is right now. Because if I do it for my CR touch, it's going to go dead center and be about three eighths from the bed. Yours should go same principle as this one here. What you're going to do, you're going to go underneath motion. You're going to scroll completely down. You're going to hit Disable Stepper Motor. What that does, it disables the motor that controls the axis. It will let you basically move your bed and move your axis. You're going to want to do that. Now, once that's done, you'll be able to bring your head on top of your bed. You're going to grab a plain old piece of white paper. This is just generic. And you're going to insert it underneath your head. Now, I'm not going to do it on mine. Simple reason, because of the CR touch. It, it is already set up. But what you're going to do, you're going to move your piece of paper and you're going to turn your wheel underneath here, your leveler. Leveler. Wow. You have one here, 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 and the back one. Until... Now I'm going to do this manually until you're basically your paper starts having a hard time pushing it. But you want to still be able to push it a bit to the point it creates a small crease in it like it's doing right now. And then once that first, first step is done, you're going to go to your, your next one and you can do the same thing too while playing with your leveler underneath here until your paper has a little bit of friction to it. Now, the first time you're going to do it, it may not be perfect. After a while, you're doing it, doing it, you're going to feel for it how you wanted to do it. And then when I started, it was the same thing too. I wasn't sure. I messed up a couple of times. My prints did not came out correctly. I had a spaghetti here. And then I slowly um, 
was able to okay like this feels this what I'm doing here feels right to me then my print came out perfectly I went oh, okay and you just get used to it and once that's that side done you're gonna go to your back one and do the same thing too and move your head here again do the same thing there too then you're gonna go back your main menu underneath motion and you're gonna do another auto home now it's gonna do its stuff move the bed a couple of times move your head here you're gonna hear your click click and the head will go down then once that's done your bed should be level with your 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 hot end your nozzle now this I will link a link to a Google Drive in the description I created a G code to help me friends anybody to be able to do a level a little bit better let the printer work for you Again, make sure to heat your bed to 50. That's something I could have added to the G code, but I decided not to. What I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down to print from card. On the card, I have Ender 2 bed level G code. What I'm gonna do is press it. Now it says start, start print, Ender 2 bed level G code, cancel or print. I'm going to say yes print and you don't need to warm up the hot end for this part you just want the bed at least at 50. now my sear touch will do its job will let it do its job if you're doing this on yours and you have a sear touch it will be a lot faster And I do have this G code on this machine. And beside here, I do have my, my two Ender, Ender 3 Max, that the bigger bed. And I have the same G code modified for these printer. Now, basically, it goes where usually I put them. I always try to put the hot end or the nozzle pretty much where the uh, level O's are. I'm going to take my piece of paper, insert it, and then I'm going to play with my leveler. Until I get the friction I want. That's the friction I like. Once that's done, I'm going to hit resume. As you'll see on your uh, screen here, click to resume. Now it's going to go in the back. Let me do the same to the back here too. See my printer is a little bit off that I like, but that's fine. I'm going to hit resume again. Now it's going to go to the back one. So this one here is a little bit... Uh, it's a little bit too tight. That's fine. Now I go to the front. Just the way I like it. Hit resume again. Now what it's going to do, I'll go back to the home position, originally of the machine. And then your print is done. And now you can insert another SD card if you want to print, things like that. That's an SD card I always keep in the machine. On that machine, I have uh, that G code that I did modify for this machine. And I have another G code that I got somewhere else to basically make squares on my plate to show me if it's, it is level or not. That's the only thing I keep on this uh, SD card. I don't use the SD card to print. I do have the Octoprint 
you'll see my uh, USB right here that goes to my Raspberry Pi that's in the back of the machine. But once in a while, yes, I do use the CR Touch, but once in a while, I'll do a manual bed level to make sure that there's nothing wrong with this guy here. And like I said, it's the same thing I do on my other machines that I have behind here. Um, they do all have CR Touches. I mean, BL Touches, the two other machines. This is the only one that has the CR Touch. The reason I went with the CR Touch because of the firmware, I want to try the Creality firmware how it is. And I'll be honest with you, it works fine. No issues with this machine. And yeah. Now, if you guys have any questions or comments, post them below. I'll be glad to answer you. And don't forget to hit that subscribe button and that bell notification if you want to be notified next time I upload a video. And I just want to make sure before I leave, don't forget to warm up your bed to 50. Wait until it's to 50, then do your level. And like I said, I just use a small piece of white paper to do it. I never had issues. There's a lot of people out there will say, now you should not use a piece of paper, you should use this. Use a filler gauge. I do have a filler gauge. This is basically a filler gauge that I have here. That, like I said, I don't use. I just use a piece of paper. Thank you for watching. And enjoy.